in an epic battle down under, as many as 70 orca whales ganged up against a blue whale and killed it. A whale watching tour saw the whole thing unfold from start to finish. The day began like any other. A tour boat took its patrons out to Bremer Bay Canyon, about 28 miles or 45 kilometers off the coast of southwestern Australia on March 16th. They spotted two orca pods playing together and surfing the waves, and so the boat lingered so their patrons could see. But then they noticed that the orcas were creating non-uniform wave surges. And that's unusual, because usually when orcas hunt, they swim together in unison to create waves moving in one direction. But in this case, the surges were scattered. Soon, the tour group learned why. They saw a giant spray from a blowhole and realized that the orcas were hunting a lone blue whale. It wasn't clear whether it was a juvenile blue whale or a pygmy blue whale, because both migrate through these waters, but it was big, measuring about 52 feet long or 16 meters long. That's nearly twice as long as the largest orca, which can measure up to 31 feet or 9.5 meters long. Just to clear up matters, orcas have another name, killer whales, but they aren't whales. Rather, they're the largest members of the dolphin family, and they are vicious. Orcas are known to eat humpback whales, seals, sea turtles, and even great white sharks. However, people can rest easy. There aren't any reports of orcas killing people, likely because people aren't part of their natural diet. That's not the case though for blue whales. Throughout the day, more and more orcas arrived. The tour spotted male orcas from at least six different pods. Each pod can have between six and 12 members, so that's upwards of 70 orcas. Plus, these whales were strategic, thoughtful, collaborative, patient, and persistent, according to Christy Brown, a marine biologist with Natural Lease Charters, who saw the entire event. She noticed that the orcas forced the blue whale from deep to shallow waters, where the whale had less room to move or escape. The process was cyclical. Multiple orcas were on the animal, jostling with it and swimming fast, beside it and under it whilst others dropped off the chase to rest in our wake and cruise along and beside the hunt, easily 200 meters or 656 feet back, according to Christy Brown. The orcas also used their teeth as weapons, chomping down on the blue whale's jaw. As the whale spun and turned, the orcas held on. They wanted its tongue, were waiting for the jaw to release, but it would not, Christy Brown said. In the end, the blue whale was too tired and too injured to continue. By mid-afternoon, it died. Immediately, the orcas divided up the carcass and shared it with one another. Other ocean predators, a hammerhead shark and long-finned pilot whales, tried to get a bite too, but the orcas defended their prey. This is the third time that Natural Least Charters has seen orcas take down a blue whale, Brown said. The other two events happened in April 2019, when blue whales are known to migrate north from Antarctica.